Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Edison only Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, I wasn't really liking the Flame Bell deck we were playing in the last few videos. Um, I tested it out, I tried it, I felt like it kind of lacked in like explosive plays outside of Rekindling. Uh, I wasn't resolving Fire Dog very much, so I wanted to kind of add another engine to it. I know this is a thing, so I, I looked at a bunch of deck lists and um, spent some time trying to make this something that I think would be able to compete and could potentially do well. So obviously the the three fire dog, three magician for rekindling. Um, I dropped Kaius down to two just to make room. Uh, triple Raikou still just because it's kind of... Uh, Raikou facilitates both engines essentially being able to mill these for rekindling and then also being able to mill goblin or goblin zombie or, or zombies just in general for book of life or for Mizuki plays um, or Zombie Master, things like that. A two Pyramid Turtle, just for consistency to help get these guys out. Um, Spirit Reaper, obviously, Plague, Mizuki, Zombie Master. And then Card Trooper, uh, same thing as Raikou, facilitates both engines, being able to just mill. To just mill. And then Gores, obviously. Uh, three Rekindling, two Book of Life. Um, I'm a big fan of this card, I love it. Uh, I don't think I could fit three in here like I do in my normal Zombie deck. So I'm just going to stick to two. One Book of Moons, go, for, go with Fire Dog. But not really relevant, I think, for like the whole rest of the deck and the way um, it plays. It's better to either just get rid of the monsters with cards like Prison or Bottomless, or to be able just a stop to stop like a Black Rose or another Caius, banishing your guys. So I felt like this was an easier card to cut to one. I might cut it all together. I'm not sure. We're gonna do some testing to see. Uh, charge just to mill more and grab Ryko. Brain Control obviously MSD and heavy. Double D Prison, double Bottomless, double Penis Chain. I love this card. I think it's really good. I think in decks that play Recruiters or decks that, that can't really afford to have their stuff banished, like you, these guys cannot get banished or it makes your Kindling dead. I feel like Phoenix Chain's really good against decks like that. Um, decks that play like Kaius, Black Rose. Uh, I've explained it a million times. Uh, Call the Haunted, uh, Mirror Force, and uh, Solemn Judgment. So side deck changed a little bit. Uh, I moved the Dust Tornadoes to the side. Um, just because I felt like with the three Raikou and the two Caius and then the, the pressure that Zombies kind of puts on your opponent, um, I kind of had like built-in ways in this deck to be able to, to sort of deal with back row and bait out back row and then follow up with like Rekindlings and Book of Lives. So this deck isn't like a summon every turn, one summon, and then if that gets stopped, the deck's done. No, like this deck can do um, a lot of stuff. So that was the only switch I made. The rest is just pretty standard, you know, the 3DD Crow for Frogs, these three um, to be able to hit the Zeros and uh, the Black Wings to not get a curse attack, things like that. Mind Control for going second. These three, I mean, we can easily just side out the Rikos or like one or two of them in a charge or, you know, any variation of that to just shut down Fairies and Light Sworn. Starlight Roads uh, for the Black Wings and for the um, Light Sworn. Two Dust for back row decks and Trap Dust you going first, and then uh, extra decks all pretty standard. The fours, the two fives, a bunch of sixes just because of this. Um, the Zombie Master Mizuki play combo just cranks out level sixes easily. Uh, the two sevens, and then the rest are just eights for the Fire Dog and the Magician. So I uh, definitely think that this is the way to go moving forward for me. In regards to playing flame bells, uh, I didn't like opening kind of like spies and hamsters and stuff like that. It's all great in theory, but if you don't have like a magician, you can't really do anything to like to to use your leftover spies or use your leftover hamsters um, or even your leftover rikos. Like you, it was very crucial to have a magician in that deck. So I felt like maybe adding another tuner and plague spreader along with like a whole nother engine that can essentially get you to more tuners and just uh kind of create power power plays was the way to go so when i started looking up deck lists for this this is kind of like similar to what um i've have built here but i've kind of i'm playing different traps a lot of people were liking the wing blast um trap stuns things like that but i kind of wanted to uh still have a decent variety of like defense um, and then this this whole deck just gets wrecked by Caius so well, any recruiter deck does so I, I 
I have to play Venus Chain in a deck that I feel like gets destroyed by Caius. Um, and unfortunately, most decks do. So super excited to try this out. Uh, Zombies is probably my, probably my favorite uh, deck in Edison. It is my favorite deck in Edison. So anytime I can kind of mix the, the engine with something else, kind of gets me excited to play a deck. Um, so this is just picking up on where we left off with Flameville, but I feel like this um, should be a little bit better and should be way more powerful. So we'll have to see how the how the hands look and how consistent it is. I mean, um, in normal like Diva Zombies, which is what I play, um, these would be like Divas, this would be a third Caius, um, these would be Mystic Tomatoes. Uh, these here would be uh, a third book of life um, and more traps. Yeah, definitely more traps. So we'll see how they combine together. The Flameville engines, the cool part about it is it's relatively small with like nine cards. Um, I kind of like that because you can fit it in like a, a variety of things. But you want to be able to capitalize off of it with cards that can mill your deck to, to set rekindling up. So that's why the three Ryko, the card trooper, and the charge. Um, that's five cards that can kind of get things going, set things up, but also, you know, opening like a goblin zombie magician. Uh, synchroing with these two is, is crazy. I mean, being able to search something, make level eight synchro, and set up for rekindling is really powerful. So uh, I'm pretty excited about this deck. In the next um, video, we'll get some games in and see, uh, and see how it does. Have a good one, guys. Thanks.